What's going on today, guys? I'm going to be unboxing some stuff. And if you know, if you're new to this channel, I unbox random stuff. I don't have a rhyme or a reason to what I get. I see something I like, and I get it. So today we're doing the Reborn King Tyrannosaurus Rex, one third, for one little, one third scale. Now I really like Rebor. They're they're awesome. They go uh, really into detail about their stuff. And if you're into collecting dinosaurs and just cool figures in general, they're really affordable for the price. This one right here I think is about fifty-five dollars on Big Bad Toy Store. We don't keep boxes in here. We have too much crap. So right here you got this cool little rock he stands on. I ain't going to trust the rock because he's going to go up on a big shelf. I'm not much for reviewing. I'm sure there's 50 million reviews you can watch on YouTube with this dude, but uh, he's pretty cool. You definitely tell that Jurassic Park is going to sue somebody. Alright, pretty freaking awesome. Next is, I got some Lady Death comics in, and if you've seen my man cave before, you know I love Lady Death, and I've always supported them. They got a new Kickstarter out, by the way, you can go check it out. Unlock me some more stretch goals, please. Sweet cover, sweet, sweet cover. I believe that's the Monty Moore one as well. Sweet cover. Up next is the Valentine's Day one of the Lady Death. Um, you know, they do all kinds of cool holidays. I love the Friday 13th stuff. They like to incorporate Jason in it. And uh, I didn't go for the risque version. I honestly like this one a little bit more. Sometimes risque shows too much. And you just, you just want the tease. You don't want the whole thing. But anyway, great. Awesome. Love them. Up next on the big box day is Band Presto Vegetas, Vegetos, excuse me. And uh, if you've seen any of my videos, you just you know I love Band Presto. You can't beat these figures for I think these were uh, thirty dollars, twenty five dollars. And I like the ones where they're almost put together, so he doesn't have a lot of uh, parts. Oh man, he looks really, really nice. My goodness. I'm so glad they brought Vegito back in Dragon Ball Super so we could get some cool merchandise. I'm also glad they brought Gogeta back too in the Broly movie because he was my boy with what? Three minutes of on screen uh, time through all the episodes in the movie. And there was hardly anything with him on it, so it's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. definitely, 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 definitely sweet. Don't know if you can see that, but it's great. Love it. Love the metallic hair. Freaking sweet. We've got one more thing to unbox and one more thing to show. Here again is Vegito again, non Super Saiyan, which is really cool. You don't know, see a lot of fusion character figures that are non Super Saiyan. They usually want to hit the highlights of where they're at in the show. All the bags I put out for trash, I bet my neighbors think I murder people and stuff little bits in each trash bag each month. Again, freaking awesome, beautiful. I love how they do the same sculpt sometimes with just a different hair. Can sit them beside each other and make them look really cool. 
And the last thing today I picked up is from one of my favorite, favorite animes. It is the Funko Pops, the Genesis Evangelion. I love these. Countless videos you've said I've hated, I've said I've not, you know, I've hated Pops, I'm not really a big fan of them. But when they come out with cool stuff like this, I gotta pick it up. So this will definitely stay somewhere up on the shelf. So, uh, I hope you liked today's video. I'm not trying to do anything fancy, just trying to sit in front of here and talk about some cool shit I like. So, as always, if you don't like me, leave me some hate. If you like me, say that's awesome. Subscribe, share, pimp me out, whatever, and I will see you next time, guys.